that cool? That dude's riding a bike without hands. That's very unsafe. No, is that a bee? Yeah, a bee. I, I'm trying to read here, bee. One line of dialogue. It's, 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 it's windy a little bit. Y'all. I decided that I'm going to video vlog books I'm reading. People do reading vlogs. A lot of my friends do reading vlogs. And I always find them really interesting because it's like the time they read it and they don't forget about stuff. And so I decided I'm going to start doing that before the summer because I might do a lot of it during the summer to be like vlogging on the beach or something like that. So I'm out in here in the wilderness. I'm at my kind of like pondish on my bike here and I'm reading a book. Wow, really? Wow, no wonder. And there's a lot of people today because it's an actually really nice day. Um, right now I am reading Little Women, uh, which is right here because for my school book club, uh, our teacher decided to give us recommendations. We have to choose one of them. And one of hers was Little Women. I've always wanted to read Little Women. <laughs> there's a movie with Winona Ryder in it, so. <laughs> also, it's like a very feminine, kind of like sisterly book and I've watched a few like like web series based on it and I always found them really interesting. I always love those literacy ones where they update it into like like I never finished Lizzie Bennet but I liked it on page 22 which is really sad because I've been reading this for a lot but I of course had school in 1984 which so far ugh. I'm on chapter three which is called The Warren's Boy which is about I think the neighbor that's gonna be Joe's love interest All I know is that he's played by Christian Bale in the movie so even though I've only seen bits and pieces of the movie I remember I only got it because again Winona Ryder was in it I'm really enjoying it so far I really like the the um, sisterly bond I think that's really nice and I like that it's all women in the house I think that's a really nice thing to show because there's a lot of families that do have that and that's not really represented, especially back in like the 1800s. I'm not complaining that I'm not getting far into it because usually when I'm reading a book and it's it's really long and it's taking me, like I think I'm like 50 pages in and really I'm 10 in pages in, usually I'd be like, are you serious? But really I'm fine with it. I mean, there's nothing really complaining about it. I think it's just slow because of the language and the thing of it. So I'm gonna get back to reading of it. If I see anything interesting, I'm vlogging on my phone. whoop de doo I've never done this before. Yo, the Lawrence boy, I don't actually know his name, but he just came in with one line of dialogue and I already love him so much. <laughs> like, he's such a gentleman. Chivalry is dead. Joe is my queen. Like, not, not JK Rowling, but Joe. And this is my queen. Like, Mink's like, I'm not going to no ball without any gloves. And Joe's like, I don't, I don't care. I, I'm not going anyway. I don't, I don't need my gloves. I don't need those gloves. I'm editing my the little bit parts of in my video vlog just like I want to get the edits in of each video vlog like bits and pieces of it so when it's finally done I can just upload it but like I'm looking at images of Renona Ryder and Little Woman right up and this dude and her kiss who is he um did something happen with Lawrence that I don't know about no I'm not, I'm only like 20 pages in and I love Lawrence with all my heart does he do something wrong Oh shit. <laughs> um, hello. Hello, it's Julia. Okay, so uh, today is the 24th of April, and uh, I read a lot today. Uh, I haven't, I, I couldn't vlog what I read today because the two, the times I was reading it, I was in school and in testing. Yeah, because I have, I have state testing to show how smart we are. <laughs> yeah, right. I had to leave and I read a lot in the car going to my appointment. And then when I got back from school, all my classes were like doing nothing because everyone's not there. So, uh, about 165 pages in, which is really nice because uh, the last time I vlogged, I think I was at a 55. So I made good progress today. Uh, I kind of watched a lot of videos on Little Women because they're supposedly a BBC, uh, PBS movie. And then I also looked at like the Winona Ryder movie trailer and um, I, I guess I kind of got spoiled. Not really. I really don't care. But uh, I guess, uh, I don't know. Uh, I think it's Beth. I think it might be Beth. I think it's either Beth or I think it's Beth. Is it Beth? The younger one, she gets with a uh, Laurie, which I'm fine with. I mean, I think that's good to show that Joe and Laurie, they don't have to be romantically involved, I guess. 
I don't know what the direction of the book is going, but, like, so far, I'm fine with it. I really am enjoying it. I think it's really nice. Um, I guess my only, like, one problem with it is, like, the weird writing style, but you can't blame the author on, like, what the normal writing style was back then. Um, sometimes I don't really know what's going on. I think there was one part where, like, people were like, she did something with Meg's hair and I didn't know it. And I was like, what's going on? There's also a part where uh, Joe cuts her hair and um, and it, I guess it's very unladylike to cut your hair really short back then. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so I'm gonna get back to reading, so. I'm in a different part of the pond. It's another day, another windy day in where I pond. I'm not like near it. I'm just, I'm actually at it. There's a lady walking around, so I gotta suit this up quick. Basically, um, I read a lot of pages today. Um, I also spoiled myself because I, was I wasn't really understanding some of the point, plot points of it, so I had to look it up on Wikipedia so I know everything that happens. In one of my recent vlogs, I said Meth ends up with Lori. It's actually Amy. Beth actually dies. Oopsie daisies, just what I'll do. And recently, I just got to the part where Amy is gonna go study abroad, and Joe's really pissed. And I relate to that so much because one time, my parents were like, oh, we're all going to California, except you. So, I get you, Joe. I'm with you. It's two, 277. So I'm like over halfway there. So we'll see what happens next. So I was warned by my ninth grade English teacher that, um, that it gets bad. Like the book gets okay. Like it was really good. And then it gets okay when like everyone goes. Shut up, duck, I'm trying to vlog. What I get for vlogging at the park? I'm going on so. She warned me about uh, Joe going into New York and she meets her new love interest who I already don't like because Lori is beautiful. And even if she didn't get with Lori, I wish she just ended up alone. Yeah, you agree with me too, ducks, right? Okay. I just wish that she ended up either alone or with Lori because I feel like their relationship is like, they're, it's so pure. And so magical and it's really good and I but I do like that it was she was like I see him more as a brother and less than a romance and I kind of like that especially in a book from the 1800s showing us that not every male and female relationship has to be romantic it can be platonic and I gotta get back to reading because I kind of want to finish this before I go to work and I can get started on lay on the offbeat which I don't know if I'm gonna vlog or not but we'll see how this video goes Joys of reading outside. So, it just happened that uh, Joe, uh, Lori proposed to Joe, wind shut up, and uh, Joe said no. And she was like, I like you more as a brother. I don't, I don't see you that way. And I, I'm fine with that. But, but, but Lori, Lori, I mean, and they introduced the, the guy he's supposed to be your interest, and I don't like him. I don't care about him one bit. I don't, I guess maybe it's like back then you had to marry someone more as not really out of love. Like the person you love the most, he didn't marry or something like some theme like that. That had to make some sense that they didn't get together. I don't, I really don't know, but uh, it's getting really cold and windy. So I think I'm going to head home and read inside because <laughs> I've seen a lot of things today and I kind of need some sleep before I go to work. So <laughs> just finished Little Woman. I'm sorry that I didn't really vlog my reaction to the ending, but I kind of skimmed through it. I was really sad because I was really intrigued by this book. I really loved the beginning of it, but once you get into book two of it, it just, it really falls flat. I, I, the reason why I did give it a four star is because it was such a solid beginning and was such a, a solid first part of the book. And then just the, it's just, the author did show us that a male and a female can be friends more than a romance. She should have equally done something to make the love interest for Joe in the end more likable than he was. Cause he kind of came in and then he just like, he only came in for one second. And then Lori marrying Amy, I just really didn't see a lot of chemistry with them. I saw a little bit, but there was no spark. I don't know if that was just what the times were back then and just that stuff, but I just, and then the Beth part, I, I guess because I skimmed so much, I missed it, but it is still a really sad thing because she didn't get to live. Um, 
just by the end of it. And I feel really bad because I really loved the beginning and I really was having fun reading it. What I'm excited to do is watch the movie, see the differences between the two. Uh, I guess my favorite character in this is Joe. And it's not because Winona Ryder plays in the movie, even though that probably is a little bit of a fact. But I liked her character. She was strong. She cared about herself. But I did feel like she kind of suddenly changed when she met the love, in the final love interest for her. I really... And then I think my least favorite is probably either, like, Amy... I don't know. Amy was kind of like, I want to do this, blah, blah, blah. Even though it wastes a lot of money, I do. But, like, the thing is that I have a feeling, like, I have a feeling like I really did love it. And then just that end, that, like, that half just, I don't know. But Lori, man, like, fictional boyfriend material right there. I'll protect him at all costs. So much better than any other, like, classic fictional character guy. Let's move over, Mr. Darcy. Lori Lawrence coming through. No, his name's Theodore. Yeah, Theodore Lawrence coming through. So that is it. Um, I won't be talking much about this, but um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I, I really had fun vlogging it. I will hopefully do more vlog video. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, comment down below uh, some of your opinions on Little Women, or do you want to see another one of these? I might do a little bit with Lay on the Offbeat. I might do one for summer, just the books I'm reading for summer, and we'll see.